feet away. There's just a hole. Oh, the, what's it? Oxo again. Look. <laughs> oh, and look at nice. Viral, it's Oxo. Oh. They says it on it, like, there's and it's a really lovely, yeah, like smooth. That oh, that's really lovely, isn't it? Well, yeah, the evidence. It's here. I think we're going to take this Oxo. Oh, Look. <laughs> it would have been so tiny. piece of pottery here that has a tiny little house and a bird on. It's another melted top of a bottle. Some form of melted pottery. Lots of remains of bottles here, for oh. sure. Blue bonfire glass. Ah. Pipe stem. Very nice melted glass. Tiny shard of pottery. Pottery. More oh, burnt. It feels like it could be one of those little shell things that pretend to be beads. Broken. Oh, got a boat on it, <laughs> and a part of a cap of some electrical thing. Pipe stem. More pipe stem. Might be something here. It'd be nice to find a bowl or something, wouldn't it? More pipe stem. I hope it's not too boy windy. That says something, right? Look, a pipe stem with initials on it. Oh, one day we'll find a bowl here, although everything's pretty broken. And also everything's pretty covered in plastic too. Hey, did you see that? Oh, oh wow, it's really broken, but look, it's a tiny little, it looks like clay pipe material, so it's like a tiny little clay 
foot, probably maybe a doll's foot. It's got laces and it would have had a little heel. That was really super camouflaged in with the stones if I hadn't picked up this random thing for some crafts. I wouldn't have seen that. Oh, cute. Piece of a pilgrim. Look at that spring, that's cool. I like that. And then there's this curly. Oh, good for cart. Copper. I found one of the little metal patches and I found this cute piece of pottery. And then there's this, and I can't tell if it's a lace shape or not. I mean, it's a thin metal. Oh, I don't know. What do you think, Mum? It's got a hole in the middle, through the middle. Oh, I really don't know. That, has it got the slit? Yeah, it's got a slit all the way down the middle. Oh, look, there's a few metal pieces here. Yeah, there's a little. Again, I can see a couple of things from here. I can see one of these which we still don't know what they are. I can see a beautiful bit of... Oh, is that like a Coca-Cola? <laughs> and then I can see a pen nib. Oh. It says, Joseph Gillett Stainless Steel. <laughs> so that's cool. zipper I think. Look, is this, is this oh. oh. Oh, it's just the end of a it's got something on it now. What do we guess? It is whole. Oh it's quite cute. I mean, it's a screw top, but it's quite cute. So I think I'll probably take it. Okay, so I found a good metal patch of it. Right. And this is something which could be quite floating on our first of all, I think. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I see this. And I think that is a bag seal with something on it. Wow. Look. Wow. That's a bag seal, isn't it, with the yeah. holes in? Yeah. I don't know what it says, but that is a bag seal, so I'm going to chill here. There's this that's a piece of lead and it says something on it. TR. One of those things that Kate found. Red. Red something? Red horn? Red hill. Oh, I wonder what that is. I think there's another one. Maybe there's another one. Another one. A bag seal. Oh no, it's not a. It's not a bag seal. It's one of those uh, little pull to open lead things. Oh, I found a few. Yeah. Do we remember? Did we ever find out what they were from? No. <laughs> oh. Pull up to open. Oh, that's so cool. There's there's things here. We yeah. I don't even remember where we found these before though, and I saw something else. Oh, here. Look at this little bottle. 
Oh, it's still got the part of its lid. Oh, I have to take that. <laughs> oh, there's another one. There's another one of those things. It's a, is this a bag seal or is it another pull up to open? This one is not a pull up to open. This one looks like it's got lots of patterns on it. I'm not sure if it's a bag seal or not. It's not got like a, oh, that one could be quite old. This is where we found there's a real um, range of uh, ages on this patch. Oh, that's so exciting. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's mum found now? <laughs> what? Yeah, what is <laughs> Oh <laughs> what does that say? It's painted or something. It's like a decorative book class possibly. I don't know. Maybe not a very old one because it says patent on the back, but Ooh. No, but it's got a name on it, I think. Yeah, the person that made it is their painting. Oh. So maybe not. I mean, people people don't generally put their names on things anymore, do they? Huh. We should be able to glue Google by all of this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that one's got lots of stuff on it, hasn't it? Wow. Okay, let's just stay here then. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> Hey, that has a lot of writing on it. <laughs> what does that say? Off. Oh, goodness. There's copper. I don't know, I have to go <laughs> so much. It does have a lot of writing on those. Oh, a tiny little cog. Well, not the opposite of cog. There's so many tiny things though. What's this? Oh. <laughs> the constant, oh. Oh, okay, the thing I found might, earlier might not be. Oh, maybe the other one isn't either. But it's got the two holes in. It must be a lace tape, look. It's got the two holes at the top. Oh my goodness. It's a lace tape! I just found this, um, like, uh... this, um like uh it's got the two holes at the top see? i don't know what that is actually i thought it was like a thing from corset but i don't know if it is no i have seen them but i don't know what they're for there's loads of little bits and pieces it doesn't know where to lean and i didn't yeah. bring my knee pads it's got the two holes at the top see I think I found a bead. It's a red bead. <laughs> it, a bead. It is a bead. And last time you came here, you found so many uh, thinking they were beads. And I've actually found, found a bead. bead. This is a very good patch. This is a good patch. <sighs> oh, well, funny you should say. Oh! Ha. <laughs> I've just found this tiny thing. It looks like it's got. It looks like it's got writing on it. At least like deliberate scores along the edge. I'm gonna have to show pictures of all these tiny things on the screen. I think. Okay, that's a weird thing. What is that? What is that? Is that at the end of an arrow? Like a, not an arrow, a dot?
Oh my word. Wow, what just just got like marks down the edge. I know, I have no oh, idea. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> okay. What's that? I used my pointy thing. Tiny, tiny thing. Is that a button? It's a part of a screw or something. But it's oval. I think I found a bead too. I did. A big peach one. Okay, I'm coming. There is a round thing. What is the round thing? Oh, I think it's a fairly dull round thing. Let's see. <laughs> now I also just found this round thing. What's this made out of? Oh, ceramic? Yeah, it's incredibly light. Put them in our box. Just going to put all the tiny... Like, look, look, oh my goodness. <laughs> What's that? I don't know, but it's the tiniest metal thing. But it has writing on it. No, how can you even see that has writing on it? It's it tiny. Say? Does it say? What's that thing there, too? There's just so much metal. It's got a word on it. It's got a word I on it. <laughs> I mean, look, chain. Wow, this spot is amazing. Oh, what's this? <laughs> No, I go away. Oh, what's this? Look, it's like. Sorry, a bit wobbly. It says painting again, but it says something above it, but it's like. Wow, these are all. Look, I found this oval thing. I didn't know if it was a. Oh! Is it like a stud? I don't know. Could be. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is this tight face? It is a tiny face. It's an E. <laughs> look, I'm not filming, so look, it's an E. Why? It's an E. Is it an E? Yeah, it's an E. Look. No, I thought you were looking at it. Just checked. There was an E. It's definitely an E. It's definitely an E. Oh my goodness. Oh, I don't. It's okay. Too much. Oh my goodness. 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 It's what I think it is. What is it? What is it? I think it is. I, I, I think it's an owl face. Huh? I think it's an owl's face. Let me see. Let me see. An owl's face. Yeah. I think it is. I, I, I think it's an owl's face. Huh? I think it's an owl's face. I might be completely wrong. An owl's face. Yeah. You come and see it sit you and tell me it does look like an owl's face. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> what is it? Is it like at the back of it? It's got writing on it. Everything has writing. Sorry, that was really zoomed in. I couldn't see that then. It's just a registration number. Oh no, it says W Y. That it's is an beautiful. It's an what? What? Oh, oh girl, grief. Oh. <laughs> I'm in so much pain. <laughs> this is not what is that? Is that like a? Didn't bring is a... that pin without a giant knob, or is it just like a? Wow, this place is amazing. I didn't bring it. Look. Oh. It's a very squished spoon. That's amazing, though. Look at that. That's a, such a cool spoon. That's an old spoon. Look. Oh, I dropped the spoon. Sand fleas. I think that's part of an R, you know? Like the top half of an R. Huh. It 
It's another one of the weights. And that this has got writing on it. I think it had writing on it. Look. Oh, this place is very, very cool. Toothpaste tube, the lead toothpaste tube, or it's nice. That's just so much interesting lumps of metal. piece of glass. Wow. <laughs> That's Chunky bits of pipe stem. I just picked this up thinking that it was a beautiful piece of melted, like bonfire milk glass. And then I looked at it and I was like, oh no, actually, that might be a melted marble. But now I've looked at it closer and I think it's actually a melted bead because it's got a hole. Oh, actually, is it the melted end of a hat pin? I think it's the melted end of a hat pin, but it's beautiful. It looks like a blob of toothpaste. <laughs> so it would be brilliant for crafting. Does that look like a bead? A broken bead? It is. It's a little cube blue broken bead. But we can still string it onto our bead string. <gasps> I really didn't think today was going to be a bead day. Didn't find any beads last time we were here. <laughs> That's amazing. Next, and then right next to it is this beautiful blue bonfire glass. It's a bead. It's the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bead. But it's a bead. Back of an earring. Oh, cool! It's another decorative object. It's patterned. It's like a butterfly or something. It's like flowers. It's a carazon. Okay. We've never found this before, and it might not be what I think it is, but that might be shrapnel. I think it is. It's those stripy bits makes me think that it's... Oh my goodness, <laughs> you've never found shrapnel before. What is that? It has got writing on it. It is round. Is it a bag seal? No, it's sort of hollow. Do you see that? What are you? Oh, careful. Oh, it's so tiny. Go 
them on focus. What is that? What do you suppose this is? Again, we just have to thank Nick and Jane for this wonderful Keeping Fine safe box they made us with our little, our little doll's face logo on it. Very handy in places like this. Oh. Just found this highly decorative something, <laughs> something or other. Those. children running past. <laughs>
the, the slats are slightly too short. There's not much overlap, but it should be fine. Oh my goodness. I mean... <laughs> okay. Right. Now, need to make sure this is in the center. I'm so shaky at this point though. Also not very good paint, that one's a bit <laughs> very bright. <laughs> There's threads everywhere. There's a thread up there too.
well I, I don't really know what to say it was a little bit overwhelming when we were cleaning this all up <laughs> having to research all of the writing try and identify the things some of it is really quite cool though isn't it we some were quite it, surprised yeah some of it miraculously we were able to identify some of it we were we were not we might need your help yes yeah, some of it <laughs> some things we have absolutely no idea what they are um, what's your favorite find well obviously my tiny owl You didn't believe me there was an owl face, did you? I did not, no. I, <laughs> I thought that you were seeing faces and things that weren't there, but it was definitely very clearly an owl. And this is one of the things we were able to identify. And this is a 1912 Brown Owl Girl Scouts badge. Which is so cool. So the Girl Scouts and the... Oh, I don't know what Brown Owl means. That's the... the um. Isn't that the, the leader? leader? The late, the yeah, the, the the woman that leads them, isn't it? I don't know. I was, I was in the girls. I was in the girls' girls' fault. Let me Google. <laughs> yes, the adult leader in charge, oh. and then the assistant was the tawny owl. So yeah, a young woman would have worn that, looking after the brownies. In 1912. In 1912, that's where that one is, because it is made by on the back. It says J. A. Wiley and Co. And they were silversmiths and electroplaters. And they had their showroom in London's Holborn Viaduct, which was home to many silversmiths and jewellers. And they were made loads of the World War One and World War Two army badges and cat badges and stuff. That's what they did. And obviously that sort of thing. So, yeah, it would have been enamelled, but it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And it's very chuffed, as you could probably tell in the film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so you're... My favourite find is my one of the three sort of bag seals upside down that I found, and this one. Um, it took me a while to figure out what it was until I recognised the squirrel shapes, because I do love a squirrel. And if you can see, it's got two squirrels on either side, and then there's sort of like a banner slash ribbon at the top, and then a symbol underneath it, which I didn't. I thought it was a T originally, and then I thought it looked a bit like, like an urn, but it's actually, it's actually this symbol. It's a hand with the third and fourth fingers uh, pushed down. And then between the two squirrels, it's a bit difficult to see on mine, there is a shield, and on this side you can see it better. And on the shield there is a W and S. Um, and after some research, the squirrels with the ribbon and that hand symbol is the is the coat of arms of the Scottish city of Where did you say? Kilmarnock? Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock. Oh. <laughs> is the is the coat of arms of the Scottish city of Kilmarnock. And the WS on the shield Excuse me. <laughs> And the WS would have stood for Walker, Walker and Sons, and this would have been a seal around a bottle of Johnny Walker whiskey, which was made in Kilmarnock. And the history of the firm goes back to the early part of the 19th century in the town. They were associated with the town for the manufacture of the whiskey until 2011. So yeah, they suggested they were put on to either indicate the quality and that it was real Johnny Walker whiskey, or to show that the corks hadn't been tampered with. So what period would that one be? The Portable Antiquities Scheme website has three of these, and um, most of them have gone to be in the collection of Kilmarnock's oh. um, museum. And it says they suggest they are... The seals probably date to the first half of the 20th century. It's a little whiskey, whiskey seal. And that's, um, I stamped it, that's what that brown stuff is on it, it will clean off. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's my favourite find. My pull up to open one, I seem to have misplaced. It's somewhere, because I looked at it in the house when we were doing all this. But this is an example of another one that we found. Unfortunately, it's not as clear as the one that I found. But we cannot, we've never been able to figure out what these are. Or what these come from. No. Got a few of three now. Yeah, I found a picture of someone on a metal detecting website asking and what they were, but 
And then the first the first one I found is just probably a much more modern one. And it doesn't have anything on it, unfortunately. These are interesting now, aren't they? Talking yes. of seals. So we found a lot of these and I first picked one up and I was like, oh, that's something it's got writing on. And then we found more and we thought that they were tire weights, even though this one says Red Hill, which I know is like a place, a place that you get trained to <laughs> on the way to London. Um, and then, but we still picked them up, luckily. So we picked up five, but there were definitely some that we ended up not picking up in the end, but we sort of regret that because it turns out that these are the general post office bag seals. So all of the names on them, this one says Red Heel. Uh, this one, we can make out a sheer at the top and then on the other side, it has Ness on the bottom. So that's sheer Ness. This one has a TR, which would have been part of a postcode. But these are where the post was going. They used them to seal up the mail bags before taking them to where they were going. So it's quite a range because Red Hill is quite far away from Sheerness. But I guess it's all the posts from London, which is why these ones ended up in the estuary. And in 1911, the post office replaced wax seals used in smaller post office regions with lead ones for sealing letter and parcel sacks. Lead seals were used in the larger post offices probably since Charles I opened up his royal mail to the public in 1635. And then in 1916 they made the seals thinner, reducing the amount of lead by 19%, thus saving £1,770 per annum. Wow. So yeah, that's quite a lot of money. So yeah, these obviously date from, I imagine, 1911 till 1916. It kind of fits with the other stuff in it the does. dump, doesn't it? Yeah. So these are... Yeah, quite thick. So yeah, it's all sort of... 1900s early, to 1920s, um, I'd say. Yeah. But, although the, some of the bottles are mm -hmm. maybe a little later. Well, it's the estuary, isn't it? could be mm -hmm. like we found the, the pilgrims. Oh, I was going to mm. pile up to the side because there's so much to get through. We'll get confused otherwise. <laughs> um, what should we do next? <laughs> uh, this? Yeah. I quite like this. So then we have, oh gosh, so then we have this, which if you can see at the top, says Bob, <laughs> and then it says Ondale 15 RD, which we assume means road. So we're thinking this might be a dog tag of a dog named Bob, Bob. <laughs> and that this was probably his address, but unfortunately we've only got half of it. It's a shame, isn't it? And I can't think of a place no. on Dale, so that might be a second name. So yeah, we think this might have been Bob's dog tag. Because it's definitely been like, sort of stamped hand on, made, hand yeah. stamped on. And it's not very straight. But yeah, little Bob, I wonder, what, if, if that's what we think it is. If anyone has another idea, what sort of dog do you imagine Bob Bob's. was? <laughs> But yeah, I think, yeah, that's really cool. And then we have this thing as well, which we cannot... I think it says co-ed here, and that says dill. And then you think that it goes upside, upside down. down at the bottom to say bye, JJ. Whereas they could be... No, oh, the but then the Y's upside, upside yeah. down. What's that about? So yeah, then it says... But you looked and it looked like a... <laughs> another sort of dog tag well, but yeah i thought originally that it looked a bit like a, a military dog tag but most military dog tags were printed so you could read them this way they were stamped in that way although actually does it make more sense that way oh my gosh <laughs> what does it say <laughs> well yeah because that would say that would say um dip okay two seconds <laughs> so yeah i maybe it's a dog tag it says diff at the bottom, right? D-I-F-F. -F. And I think the other line is hyphen co-ed. And then it's sort of N-L-L-Y-E. Y. So yeah, we were reading it like this. And it's actually 
like this. So if that's what you think it is, or if it's just something else stamped, I don't know, there's a lot of writing on it, and unfortunately we just cannot figure out what it says. Uh, top of the R. This is Mum's top of an R. Again, could be off anything. I think it was probably a little badge, because it's got the little bit at the top. But if anyone has any idea, <laughs> I mean it's just an R, isn't it? But it's quite cool. Um, a pen nib could be any age you can still get Joseph Gillett pen nibs still quite shiny ah I got an an E I'll quickly stamp that so there's a little stamped E we are building our typeface collection I am really sorry about my nails I've been repotting I found some shrapnel I've never found shrapnel before that's very cool. So it's again dating well with the date of all this other things. But that could be polished up. Mum's beautiful book clasp that says Henry Penn patent, but again, I can't find a Henry Penn. Definitely a book clasp, though. Isn't it, it is definitely. But then uh, this one could be too. Hmm. Yes, it could. Yeah, they are beautiful things. You found a few now. Hmm. This one's so shiny. I know. It's weird, isn't it? I don't know why that came up so well. <laughs> um, some other random tiny things that have writing on. This one says Dapper Copper 3, but Damper, sorry, Damper Copper, I don't know. It's Amp, it's, it's, it's um, Amp, it says uh, what number of Oh, it says Electrical, amp. yeah, it's an electrical do flip. <laughs> <laughs> These are uh, Crocker's Paintant, but again, there's so many different Crocker's Paintants. That's my thing. I didn't realise how cool it was when I picked it up. This a thing. <laughs> beautiful. I mean, is it a piece of jewellery? I think it is. I think it's like a so bracelet, part of a bracelet. decorated. And Mum didn't realise. We, we thought it was a stone, but now I look more closely, I think it might be either enamelled glass or it was like a, like a fake glass stone set in it. Some of the stuff's got off the top and it's all clear inside. But, yeah, you didn't realise that it had a little... I didn't know it had a st pretend stone in it. So, yeah, beautiful. Um, some beads. Um, a cabochon. My little clay shoe. Clay pipes. Clay pipe stems. This. Did you say what was on this? I couldn't find it. It was just, again, copper, painted it. And our mystery item of the week. We have absolutely no idea what this is. But it's very highly decor... But it's very highly decorated on the sides. It's sort of, like, carved. And it's so incredibly pointy. What do we think it's made out of? I don't Iron? know. Lead? No, I think it's a bit hard for lead. But I thought it could be the end of a dart, but I'm, I'm backing out of that now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it could be any age, because it's from the, the Thames. So if anyone has any idea about what that is, it's so sharp. It's even being in the water for so long, it's still ridiculously sharp. So yeah, mystery item. My spoon. I love the spoon. <laughs> it's so cool. A really melted spoon. Which makes me think it might be pewter. Because, yeah, it makes me think it's pewter because of the way it's done that. Because we found a lot of spoons mm -hmm. and usually they're quite rusty. Whereas this, I think, would clean up quite well. I'm pretty sure it's not silver. <laughs> Although, I don't know. It could be. 
Oh, it could be pewter. It seems it's very soft, the fact that it's mm -hmm. smushed like that. But pewter is quite soft. Yeah, it's, I, can, I can bend it. I'm not going yeah. to, but yeah. yeah. I think it's pewter, which is cool, which is because mm. it's quite an old spoon. I think it's lovely. It's beautiful. It's like a piece of art. It you is. Turn it into a brooch or something. Yeah, you, def <gasps> you definitely <laughs> could. <laughs> also just discovered that we think we found a tiny pen nib. It's minuscule. Does it say anything? And then we have all of our aglets, <laughs> our lace shapes. They're obviously not um, Tudor like some of the ones you can find on the foreshore, but they're probably probably early, probably early nineteen hundreds. Yeah. Going the way things are going with dating all this stuff, I imagine they were probably like wool boots, soldiers' boots, yeah. Girl Scouts' boots. <laughs> Dog's boots. Yeah, Bob's boots. <laughs> Bob's boots. So yeah, there's our lovely selection of lace shapes. Um, blue and white willow pattern everywhere you go. Um, my melted end of a hat pin. That beautiful piece of glass. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh yes, my tiny little button. button, which I realise now I didn't actually put in the film, so this will be at the end, <laughs> a clip of me finding this beautiful little French jet morning button. Uh, just some, this bottle I'm thinking I've got some craft ideas for. This one that I brought, just because it still sort of has its, its lid is held on it's for very so deco, long. Though, it's again, very it's like deco. 1920s. It's mm -hmm. And then just an oxo. It's very thick. It's very thick. And just a random selection of metal things, which are always good for crafts. There is our bed that we made with Bernie sat in it. And we made some clothes for Bernie in the Patreon film this week, which um, didn't go as planned. <laughs> making the clothes. He was supposed to have a little suit and <laughs> ended up a bit like a oh, Oliver a Twist. <laughs> so yeah, this is the bed for the doll's house that we made out of the driftwood that we picked up on that beach. It was very fun making it. So that was um, Probably quite a long film. Probably quite a long film again. I think all of our films are probably going to be this length for a while. Yeah, if, if you think if that's okay yeah. yeah um and next week we there's some more tiny exciting things that we found we, yeah, yeah back at, the beach, uh, back at a, a beach next week and we just have to thank all of our wonderful patrons and all of the wonderful people that donate and comment and like and subscribe we hit 9,400 which is exciting just going so, for the 10 <laughs> yeah so if you haven't subscribed and you enjoyed the video it really does help if you click that button and we're going to do something exciting for 10,000 I think yes. yeah yes and yeah we have lots of exciting things planned as well now that in the near future we'll be able to explore further afield so yeah we can't wait to show you and we hope you have a good rest of the week bye, bye. Like that's gonna be a button. It is! It's a French jet glass button. Oh my goodness! I've walked right to the edge of where you can get on this beach, as in literally I've hit the wall. <laughs> and just by the end, a beautiful button. What's that? It's a bead. I think it's bead. a bead. Or oh, is it one of those things before, again? <laughs> I don't know, it's so small. See. Yeah, my eyes are terrible. 
No, it's just a little glass ball. I've got mm. one of those. I don't know what they're from. Ow. Ow. 